Hello friends, welcome once more to my YouTube channel if you are a returning subscriber. I'm all about giving you tips, tricks and techniques to get your artworks done in no time. So if you are just new to the channel, make sure to click the subscribe button, ring all the bell so you don't miss any of my tutorials when I release them. I came up with this video as a result of a subscriber wanting to know the kind of papers I use for my artworks or drawing. Now, I think personally, when it comes to creating an artwork, your choice of papers or the kind of paper you are supposed to use for your artwork all depends on what you want to portray or the style of artwork you are into. There are some persons that are majorly focused on hyper-realistic artworks. There are some persons that are focused on geometric system of drawing or maybe an abstract now, the kind of artwork you are making determines the type of paper. I'm going to keep things very simple and direct so you get what I am saying. Honestly speaking, I'm not the kind of person that focuses my attention on the brand of paper from a particular company, but I focus my attention on the quality of the paper and the features it has. That is to say, I pay attention to the texture of the paper and secondly, I pay attention to the tone of the paper if it is completely bright, a mid-tone or a dark tone paper. When it comes to creating very realistic artworks like hyper-realistic drawings, you want to make use of the smoothest of paper possible. And my style of artwork is circulated around creating realism. The reason why you would need a complete smooth paper to make your realistic artwork is because you don't need textures that will automatically bulge out when you use your pencil to draw on it. You need a kind of paper that will completely give you exactly what you want. You want to create every single texture, every single movement, pulse and strokes originally or by yourself. Because if you make use of any paper that has a particular texture or pattern on it, when you try shading on it, it's going to show those patterns. And if you are trying to create a realistic artwork, that's really going to prevent you from getting exactly Exactly what you want because no matter how you shade it it's still going to create those patterns and textures moving to the next as I mentioned previously is based on the tonal value there are some kind of papers that tend to appear very brilliant and bright there are some papers that tend to appear uh, a little bit dark not completely dark and we have complete dark papers black papers for drawing when it comes to the value and the tone of the paper, it all depends on your materials and the way you draw. If you're the kind of person that make use of highlighting tools like gel pen, or you have other things to increase the brightness, it is best using a mid-tone paper so that you can likely use your white charcoal pencil, your highlighting gel pen, or maybe a uh, a tipest or a correction fluid to increase the brightness because the paper will normally not be as bright as that. So you will definitely be needing those tools to increase the brightness. If you're the kind of person that don't use such things for your drawing, it is best using a paper that is completely bright so that you can shade in those mid-tones for the areas that need mid-tones when you are drawing. So now this draws my attention to uh, most artists that solely focus on charcoal artworks. I've seen a lot of artists or a lot of beginners making use of white charcoal pencil on a complete white paper, which is completely wrong. Now your white charcoal pencil is used for your mid-tone or a black paper when you are making any kind of artwork. If you try to use a white charcoal pencil on a complete white paper. It is kind of funny because that white charcoal pencil is not as bright as the paper in itself. Now, there is no reason why you want to use a white charcoal pencil for your white tone paper because it is pointless. It is best using your electric eraser or your Tombow Mono Zero eraser or any other kind of eraser that will bring back that brightness you need in your paper because at most times I've discovered that your complete white paper is a lot brighter than your white charcoal pencil. The brightness is not really sharp and it doesn't really give you what you want. The bottom line is if you're the kind of person that makes use of white charcoal 
pencil. It is best to make use of a 50% white, 50% black gray toned paper because that is the ideal paper for white charcoal pencil and the brightness will completely be obvious. I see a lot of persons misusing this pencil. Other than that, if you're the kind of person that makes use of a Tombo Mono Zero eraser, a gel pen, or you are making use of an electric pen, it is completely right to make use of a complete white paper or a mid-tone paper. If you're looking for a stylized artwork with patterns, then you want to make use of a paper that has the kind of textures you want. Now, for most artists out there, what they are fascinated with is all about creating hyper-realistic artwork. So, if you're out there and you want to create an hyper-realistic artwork, your aim is to go for the smoothest of texture not a complete light paper at least you should have a little bit of weight or thickness art is all about observation and application and learning from your previous mistakes so subsequently as you apply these procedures you tend to know what kind of paper works best for you what works for me might not work for you so you really need to give yourself that patience and pay attention to what really works best for you now if there is any comment or question you would like to ask with regards to what i just said make sure to drop a comment in the comment section this is what i do giving you tips tricks and techniques to get your artworks done in no time so if you're wanting the group to ring all the bell subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of my tutorials when i release them till i see you next time keep creating